Hey everyone, so today I want to talk to you about the Dune Sisterhood series and share some exclusive news about the show, so make sure you watch till the end and listen out for that. So the news of this series was announced a very very long time ago and there hasn't been much in the way of announcements about this series. We heard that John Spates, the screenwriter for Dune, left the show as a showrunner to focus on writing Dune Part 2 and other projects. Then Diane Ademo John became the showrunner and she's been responsible for shows like Empire and The Haunting of Bly Manor. And in the writer's room they shared a very interesting image of the books they were reading at the time in inspiration for this series. And some of these books are directly linked with Frank Herbert because he was inspired by them to write Dune. And others are more about the feel of the series and what they want to go for. They had books like The Upanishads by Eknath Ishwaran which talks about the prana, and this relates to prana bindu in Dune. And they had the essentials of Rumi by the Persian poet. And in the poem in Baghdad dreaming of Cairo, in Cairo dreaming of Baghdad, Rumi mentions the water of life. And of course Frank Herbert uses this term, the water of life, to describe the changed waters of the sandworm, which only a reverend mother can change, or so they thought. And water is a theme that is commonly mentioned throughout the book, The Essentials of Rumi. But the Islamic nature of the books they have shows that they seem to be wanting to focus more on the Islamic influences in Frank Herbert's work and apply them to the Dune the Sisterhood series. At least that's the impression we get based on the writer's room books. They also have The Sabres of Paradise by Leslie Blanche. And of course that had a very prominent influence on Frank Herbert's Dune book. The Sabres of Paradise went on to inspire the Atreides and the Fremen alike in their customs, in their culture, in the weaponry they have, and in the terminology they use to describe themselves, such as naïb and things of that nature. They have other books like classics of Buddhism and Zen, obviously relating to the Fremen, and they also have Gypsy, Sorcerer and Fortune Telling by Charles Godfrey Leland, which relates to the rituals of the Fremen. So there seems to be a lot of books relating to the Fremen here. My guess according to these books is that the show will look at how the Bene Gesserit forge a way for the Bene Gesserit of the future on Arrakis and plant the seeds of prophecy in preparation for the Mehdi or the Lisan al Ghaib. But what do we really know about this series? Well, for the longest time, Denis Villeneuve was attached to direct the first episode of the series. And that would have given the series a continuity between the film, Dune, and the series itself. But Denis Villeneuve is no longer attached to direct any episode of the Dune the Sisterhood series, due to having to focus on filming Dune Part 2. But now Johan Renk is responsible for directing at least two episodes of the Dune Sisterhood series. And Johan has directed episodes of Vikings, Breaking Bad, and Chernobyl. So this is a top tier level director we're dealing with in the television realm, which is a very exciting thing to attach to something like Dune. And I just finished watching the Last Kingdom series, so it would be great to get the director John East on board, who directed many episodes and did a fantastic job, and was able to capture the subtle nuances of the relationships between several characters so well, something that I think is vital to an ensemble cast of a Bene Gesserit sisterhood. Because this series takes on elements of machinery and technology, it would be great to use a director that is familiar with this and has explored this previously. One film that springs to mind is Archive, which came out in 2020, directed by Gavin Rothery. It's a great film, beautiful visuals, but it captures a very interesting relationship between man and machine. And I think this is going to be something very important for the Dune Sisterhood series. And an idea and a dream that is so far out there but could be possible is a director like Ridley Scott taking on an episode of this show because I just want to see how he would take on this material which he was supposed to do in the 80s. So I'd love to see Ridley Scott take on an episode of Dune the Sisterhood series. Oh, and a little fun fact. I suggested that Mohamed Dieb, the director of episodes of the Moon Knight series, be a director for a few episodes of the Dune Sisterhood series, and he liked that comment on Twitter. A synopsis has been attached to this recent news, and it may just be a rehash of an old synopsis, but the series seems to be based on Brian Herbert's The Sisterhood of Dune book. The show is set 10,000 years prior to the events of Dune and follows the Harkonnen sisters as they combat forces that threaten the future of humankind and establish the fable sect known as the Bene Gesserit. According to Giant Freaking Robot, there was a rumour that the Bene Gesserit show would be called Sisterhood of Dune Mind Killer 
and it would be set years before the Dune movie, so it matches that synopsis. According to them, the series will be a prequel to the Dune movie and timeline, set years and years before that story, and it will centre on the Bene Gesserit, the group of women in this world who have trained themselves to have nearly superhuman abilities when it comes to mind training, coercion, and almost a genetic memory that's passed down from generation to generation. This series will focus on this group and a faction within the Bene Gesserit that is working on stopping a more sinister force in the universe. According to them there are specific archetypes that the studio is looking for to cast and the cast will look almost exclusively female with around three women in their late 20s and two others who will play an older part of the group but it's a very broad casting requirement at this point. But they say that the story will follow a group within the Bene Gesserit in the aftermath of a massive war in the galaxy that's destroyed much of the structure. The cast will include an empress, a brother and sister tandem in their early 20s, someone who fits a space pirate archetype, and then the primary villain. I'm not going to spoil the show by mentioning who these primary villains can be and who the space archetypes can be and who the brother and sister can be, but if you read the book Sisterhood of Dune, you'd have some idea of who these characters are. Not much else is known about the Dune the Sisterhood series production, but there is some interesting chatter going on. According to someone who works in the film industry, the Dune TV series will be assembling its crew in September 2022, and it will be filmed at Troy Studios in Limerick, Ireland, which is where they filmed Night Flyers and Apple TV's Foundation series, and the shoot will almost be entirely studio-based. So it seems that there will be little filming in places like Jordan for desert scenes. This may be due to budget reasons. Now this is a rumour floating around in the film industry and isn't 100% confirmed. But I think it's very interesting to hear that this series could be filmed in the same place where the Foundation series was filmed. Now as this is a HBO show, we have to look at places that have been filmed previously in Ireland that are linked to their shows. And one that springs to mind in particular is Game of Thrones. The Dune Sisterhood series may incorporate certain location shots of Ireland in the series. So if this is true, along with Jordan, the United Arab Emirates, Norway and Budapest, Ireland could be another home of Dune. And it's definitely a place where HBO is comfortable with working in. And maybe they're trying to capture that Game of Thrones charm, that charm that the series had. The look and feel of a medieval type setting for the Bene Gesserit school and their home planet of Wallach 9. In this concept art, which came from a rare Dune Sisterhood series lookbook, it shows a medieval looking school, almost reminiscent of the Harry Potter movies, with its tall spires and towers. It looks like a cathedral, but it also seems to feature Islamic geometrical shapes in its architecture. It features two statues of veiled Bene Gesserits facing away from each other, the two Harkonnen sisters perhaps, and a woman carrying a lantern can be seen, wearing red and white, which indicates that some Bene Gesserit in this series will wear red and white clothing. There are some actors I'd love to see in this series. There are some really big names which are a given, such as Tilda Swinton or Kate Blanchett or Sigourney Weaver, but they may be too expensive for a TV show. I'd love to see Tati Gabrielle in this show. I think she has this very interesting feminine presence and she can portray someone who carries quite dark secrets and there's a mysteriousness about her. She was in the show Chilling Adventures of Sabrina and she was also in the Uncharted movie with Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg. So I think she has a very interesting career ahead of her and I also think that this is just the beginning for her. I think Ruth Wilson would be a good choice. She has the ability to play very dark, mysterious characters if you've watched the His Dark Material series. And it's a long shot, but I'd love to see actresses like Eva Green in the Bene Gesserit Sisterhood. And why not actresses who have been in Game of Thrones like Lena Headey, who played Cersei Lannister. She definitely has the ability to create tension on screen and create these epic moments. And it would be great to see Natalie Dormer in the show. She played Marjorie Tyrell in Game of Thrones, and she's actually a huge Dune fan. She even has a tattoo which says fear is the mind killer. Can I ask what that, what your tattoos, what does that say? That's from the litany against fear from yeah. the novel Dune, the Frank Herbert novel yeah. um, from the 60s, Dune. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just to remind so. me to take myself out of my comfort zone and well, be brave. 
So she would fit absolutely perfectly in the Dune Sisterhood series. She was actually one of my favourite characters in Game of Thrones. I'd really like to see Sophia Butella involved. Originally I wanted her to play Hara in Denis Villeneuve's Dune, but I think she'd make an excellent Bene Gesserit. And she's originally Algerian, and we definitely need some more Mena representation in Dune because there is nowhere near enough. Alexander Siddiq would be great to be involved in a Dune project like this because whatever he gets involved in, it only improves it, so it'd be nice to see him in the show. Who would you like to see in this Dune Sisterhood HBO Max show? Are there any directors you'd like to see take on episodes of the Dune series? Let me know in the comment section below. Check out some of my other Dune videos or some of my other popular culture videos here.